I just found a post <clears throat> on YouTube and I think it was Michael Hoskins was his name and he married his beloved who she was a Australian athlete and she was running a marathon and she got she got caught in a forest fire and sustained 70% burns all over her body, her face, everything. And there was footage of her in the hospital bed covered in bandages and burns and him giving her a kiss. And they were just boyfriend and girlfriend at the time. And after he married her, people asked him, why did you marry her? Why, why didn't you leave her? And he said, I married her soul. And they're now married and happy and they've children. I think they have two children. I think it's sad that the world is so caught up in how things look and it's such a I mean it is a, it's a remarkable story of strength of the human spirit of this beautiful woman tackling and taking on the horrendous the horrendous trauma from her wounds. I can only imagine the psychological wounds as well as the physical pain of having 70% of your body with terrible burns. But I think it's sad that we live in a world that asks the man, why did you marry her? And I love his response. It made me cry. I married her soul. I think it's sad that that's an anomaly, you know, that's, that's a rare thing. Sometimes as a sensitive, I really struggle with the harshness of Gaia, of this world, especially Western society. The harshness, it's something I struggle with. I'm not built for it. I remember when I was really young and I was always told, you're too sensitive. You've got to grow a thicker skin. Life is going to chew you up and spit you out. <clears throat> and as a little girl, I remember saying to my mother, why is this softness, this sensitive heart Hold to change and why why do I feel like I have to hide that or protect it you know my, my mother was always my mother and father were always concerned that my vulnerability was a weakness and they tried to convince me that it was a weakness <laughs> And as I hit my teens, I just decided that this vulnerability is, is a gift. Without my vulnerability, without my sensitivity and my spiritual softness, I could not do the work I do. I could not honor my mission here, which is to help people 
at great lengths and to choose to walk away from all the modern comforts and stability and security that if I was to shut down my heart and box away my sensitivity, I could have and more. I can't tell you the amount of times as a, a natural born mystic, as a healer, that I've had to sacrifice, for want of a better word, because that's what it felt like at times, sacrifice groups, communities, friendships, relationships, lifestyles, indulgences, pleasure, money, security, because as a master number 11, 11 is the number of integrity, 11 is the angel's number. When you're seeing 1111, 11, you're being asked to remember your integrity, keep your chin up, and watch your thoughts because you're in a very creative space. Your thoughts are manifesting in quickly into form. Integral, right? Something that's integral, that's whole, that's something that has integrity is strong. It's true, it's, it's got gravitas. And all my life, I've had to fight to protect and to honor my sensitivity because growing up in 80s Ireland, nobody honored sensitivity. It was not cool to be sensitive, it was, it was not understood to be psychic, to be spiritual, to be clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognizant, clairsentient. These terms and these conditions were never understood at that time. And it amazes me how far we've come in regards to spirituality being a very common conversation now which I think is wonderful. But we have a long way to go with integrity. We have a long way to go with choosing someone from the soul, like that man did with that athlete who suffered the burns. I've had a really beautiful and in some ways challenging conversation with what I would call a colleague of mine, a, a kindred soul. And in some ways it was challenging for me because this person is older than I and further down the road, if you will, in regards to making the life of the healer, the creative artistic soul, sustainable and stable and um, comfortable maybe yet powerful and full of integrity and full of synchronicity but I was so moved by what he shared with me about our session. He had a session, that's how I was introduced to him. And I can sh share this because it's confidential. You don't know who this person is out of my, my clients. But we definitely recognized each other for, as a soul level, as the same frequency. And we're doing the same type of work 
and it's amazing how many times I forget that I am doing the work and I'm sharing this message with you because perhaps you forget to that by being here the fact that we were called to be here some of us some of us didn't volunteer or some of us did some of us were called some of us were asked some of us wanted to be here and fought to be here for some of us the earth plane is a very foreign land it's a foreign place i have memories of being in the angelic realm in heaven and spirit you know just saw 11 11 right there on the timer <laughs> as i said that that's my angel family winking and giving me a nod and sometimes the density here is quite challenging for some of us sensitive souls and if you're somebody who resonates with this i just want to reach out to you and high five you and shake your hand and embrace you and say you're not alone you're not alone but no matter what we do that sensitivity is part of the fabric of our soul blueprint and we are meant to be open hearted expanded in our heart space and vulnerable and we are here to evolve into knowing that our vulnerability is actually our greatest strength. I remember when I was about 13, there was this MTV perfume ad. <laughs> I think it was Anais Anais perfume and there was a girl on it and she on the the ad and she looked a little bit like me she she had similar coloring and face and she said and I really took it as a synchronicity as a spiritual message because being a 13 year old girl is no joke I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody <laughs> and she said into the the ad was you know perfume ads are all fantasy and it was like heaven and pink and white and it was beautiful and she said someday tenderness will touch the world <gasps> and i thought wow that's that's a message for me for my angels like this angel in this perfume ad someday tenderness will touch the world and I thought, yeah, someday tenderness, kindness, lovingness, lightness will be seen as a superpower and not a weakness. And, and sensitivity will be treasured. And I never forgot it. And when I was setting up my YouTube channel, I that echo of that message, and I was like, I'm gonna set this channel up for people who, who don't feel like they belong or fit in or or maybe they do now, but they know what it's like to feel full of sensitivity, vulnerability, your your heart's wide open. And instead of being feeling valued and appreciated for that, for your natural state, perhaps it was abused. Perhaps it was taken advantage of. Perhaps you didn't value it. You didn't even realize. I have this all the time. I have clients be absolutely blown away by a session with me. One session, I can clear a whole lot. People usually don't need more than one or two sessions with me. People often come back over the years because as time passes, another layer or something comes up or they just come back because they had such a lovely time. But I'm often blown away by how powerful the work is. And I'm like, wow, I'm just 
I'm just showing up and being the clear channel, you know? And I think that's why it's powerful because you cannot bring your ego into your work as a healer. It's, it's an absolute no-no. You must be clear. And again, back to that integrity, right? And you can feel it when you're having work done with somebody, when you're connecting with someone. You know who's genuine and who's not. Always trust your gut on that. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I was, I'm feeling, feeling this sensitive emotional waves today. It's the 4th of August. I feel like I've got a pending headache in this left side. Yeah, it's like, a, even though I did my stretches and everything, I feel like <laughs> there's something there that I need to work out. And also, to all my girlies, all my women friends, when you are in your moon, when it's that time of the month, you really have to mind your energy. Don't be just giving out your energy. It really is a time to pull your energy inward and to pull it down and ground into your own energy. Take a break from housework. Take a break from being the giving, caring mother, sister, daughter. Like Take a break from those roles and just get back to the true essence of who you are. I was told to record this video while I was in this <laughs> emotional wave of wisdom so thank you so much for being here with me in this moment you should look up that story about I wish I could remember the people's names but that, that's a beautiful story about the man who he married her because of her soul that's true love my friend that's true love